Hi everyone, welcome back to Story Time with Itesh. Hope you're enjoying my videos. Today I'm going to read another book for you. Giraffe Graphs, written by Melissa Stewart. Have you ever been to a zoo? I have. My class went to the zoo on a field trip. My teacher says that a picture is worth a thousand words. That means one quick look at a picture can tell you a lot. I took a picture of some of the kids in my group at the zoo. Make a list of everything this picture tells you. My teacher also says that a graph is worth a thousand numbers. One quick look at a graph can tell you a lot too. Here's a bar graph of the kids in my picture. How many boys are in the picture? How many girls are in the picture? There are one boy and three girls in the bar graph. My group liked visiting the giraffes. We used a tie chart to keep track of how many animals we saw. We did this by making a mark for each animal we counted. This tally chart ho shows how many giraffes we saw in the giraffe exhibit. After we saw the giraffes, we went to the elephant exhibit. Now our tally chart shows how many giraffes and how many elephants we saw. Next. We saw the lions. We added the number of lions we saw to our tally sheets too. Animal tally chart. Giraffes, five. Elephants, six. Lions, four. When we got back to school, we made a bar graph comparing how many giraffes, elephants, and lions we saw. Take a look. Which animal did we see the most? The most were elephant and has count of six. When we were at the zoo, we started thinking about how tall the giraffes were compared to the other animals. Our teacher helped us look at the height of giraffes without their necks and heads. This is called shoulder height. It's a measurement used to compare animals. Then we looked up the shoulder height for elephants and lions. We drew a bar graph to help us compare the shoulder height of the three animals. Which animal is the tallest? If you said giraffes, you're correct. Next, my teacher asked us to vote for our favorite animal. I voted for giraffes. I think giraffes are cute. This bar graph shows the results of our favorite animal vote. Which animal got the most votes? Giraffes. How can you tell by reading the bar graph? Because there are 10 votes for the giraffes. Tile charts and bar graphs helped us learn a lot today. Sometimes, drawing a picture of our numbers makes it easier to find the answer to a question. I'm going to look for more graphs in magazines, in the newspaper, and on the internet. Why don't you look for some graphs too? Words you know. Bar graph, elephants, giraffes. Lions, tally chart, zoo. The end. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel to watch more.